Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to learn the projection of lines problem case 5 and problem number 7. Uh, here, the final projector will be look like a straight line. Theta plus pi equal to 90 degree. Let's see the problem. N or S. 50 mm long. One end is placed 15 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of VP. The line is 55 degree to HP and 35 degree to VP. Find the front view and top view line length. Also draw the projections. Let's see the given. The line length that is true length of the line is 50 mm and one end is 15 mm above HP. Right, that is nothing but locus of R dash that is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP is also given that is nothing but locus of R and then they are giving two angles. See, the line is 55 degree to HP. Okay, here they are relating the angle with respect to the plane. So, definitely it is a true line angle. Right. If the angle is related to HP means that will be projected in VP. So, the 55 degree to HP is nothing but theta. Where we have to draw the theta? Just recall the base diagram. Yeah. Theta is nothing but the R dash S1 dash. That is front view true line. You have to draw the 55 degree to HP in the vertical plane that is above the XY. Right, that's all. Uh, similarly, 35 degree to VP is also given that will be projected in the horizontal plane that is below the XY. Uh, what is the name of the angle? That is known as pi and the name of the line is R S2. And that's all. Uh, let's mark the known thing first. The drafter and draw the XY line and now mark the VP and HP. Let's mark the locus detail first. The locus of R dash is 15 mm above HP. So from XY measure 15 mm and mark the locus of R dash line. That's it. Now check the another locus that is locus of R is 20 mm in front of VP. In front of VP means it will be in the HP. Right. So draw that locus also. We have to use the drafter only. So that we can able to draw the locus in a parallel manner. Name the locus. Mark the point R and R dash in the respective locus. First mark the R dash and draw the project R line and mark the point R also. Right. Let's draw the uh, true line. Uh, either you can go with uh, front view true line or top view true line. Now I am going with my theta. Yes, that is R dash S1 dash. The given angle is 55 degree. So take protector and place the protector in R dash and the angle is 55. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 55. Right. And uh, note down the 55th degree and uh, connect R dash as well as the 55th degree with the help of 2H pencil. We know the length of the true line also. Right. So theta is nothing but true line angle. We know the length that is R is true length is 50 mm. Right. Uh, take 50 mm in compass or in scale and mark the distance in the respective line. Yeah, that's it. That is our point S1 dash. Immediately draw the locus with the help of the drafter. 
right you have used to which pencil right you may know all the things uh, which type of a pencil we have to use for the lines right and name the locus that is the locus of s dash that's it similarly repeat the same just repeat the same for top view also we are having the angle that is uh, pi 35 degree place the protector in r and measure the angle 10 20 30 uh, and this is my 35th degree just connect the 35th degree to the point r with the help of two edge pencil and mark the angle yeah we know the length that is 50 mm from the point r measure 50 mm and mark it that is another end of our true line what is the name of the point that is s2 that's it draw the locus with the help of drafter and name the locus locus of s that's all that's all so up to now uh, we have marked the uh, locus details as well as uh, front view true line as well as top view true line that's it what is the next step if we are processing with the true length mean true true yeah first we have to draw the perpendicular line and then we have to make our that's it our base diagram uh, but i have created this base diagram with the help of a capital letter a b naming so that is no issues just to follow the sequence uh, what will be the sequence if we are having the true line end point that is uh, we are having b2 as well as we are having b1 as means what will be the next step from b2 we have to draw perpendicular line and then we have to make arc similarly from b1 dash we have to draw perpendicular line and then we have to make arc that's it see the locus sequence from b2 right uh, that is in locus of b from locus of b2 locus of a dash i have created a perpendicular line right now don't need b and then a dash and then from a dash to locus of b dash we have created a arc that's all arc that's all uh, in our case we are having r s so no issues just replace the b with small letter s similarly uh, replace the uh, a with small letter r and then and finally this will be our locus sequence uh, that is at hp plane the locus sequence will be s2 r dash and then r dash to s dash right similarly at a vertical plane the locus sequence will be s dash to r and then r to s that's it first perpendicular line and then arc uh, let's continue our diagram i am going with my uh, hp plane so from s2 we have to draw perpendicular line that is see the locus sequence s dash to r dash perpendicular line and then from that intersection point r dash as a center make an arc yeah with the help of this radius you have to use the compass right and then rotate the compass definitely it will make an intersection in the locus of s dash that's it right and the note down that point that is our s dash and connect r dash as well as s dash this will be the final front view projection so you have to use hb pencil don't be panic uh, because uh, in the previous all the remaining problems uh, definitely the r dash s dash will be having certain angle but in this case the r dash s dash is a perpendicular one no issues why because see the angle that is 35 plus 55 equal to 90 degree so this is the reason let's proceed this will be the locus sequence s dash to r dash we have to draw the perpendicular line and then r dash to s we have to draw the arc that's it from point s1 dash draw one perpendicular line up to locus of r and this is your distance r as a center make an arc make an arc that's it definitely you are going to get the point is right below the point r 
no issues just connect it with the help of hp pencil hp pencil yeah that's it this will be the uh, final view and after that uh, they are asking the uh, front view line length as well as top view line length uh, just to measure and uh, mark it that's it the front view line length is uh, 41 mm and the top view line length is 29 mm yeah that's it uh, finally you have to put a box like this and then inside the box you have to note down the uh, values whatever they are asking and that's all bro mm, thank you thanks for learning here you can